Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Flip, and today I want to show you a wonderful assembly disassembly puzzle called the OSM Ball. The object of this puzzle is to take it apart and then put it back together. It was originally designed by Jakob Dvorak, though it's based off the ideas of the great Russian puzzle designer Leonid Mokolov. The reason it's called the OSM Ball is that the ball is actually made from eight different types of wood, and the original designer was Czech. The word for eight in Czech is Ozm, which is spelled OSM. The puzzle also is made of eight pieces. With assembly disassembly puzzles like this, there are actually two puzzles. One is taking the puzzle apart, and the other is putting it back together. I got this puzzle from Puzzle Master, and I've included a link to the puzzle in the description below. Let's get started. In order to take this puzzle apart, we need to discover the first move. What actually moves in this puzzle? And you might try different ways of pushing these pieces, and eventually you'll discover this. And with that, the puzzle comes apart. If you keep track of the pieces as you take it apart slowly, the puzzle becomes much easier. So let's take it apart as quickly as possible. And you can see, there's actually quite a bit going on with this interlocking mechanism. Okay, so from starting from here, the main objective is to reassemble it. You can tell which pieces go together by the colors of the different types of wood. But actually assembling the full thing is going to be a little bit tricky. I like what's going on here with these two pieces. They seem to fit together well, and if I hold on to the one, the other one doesn't come apart. I'm wondering if we can fit this last piece here. It is a good fit, but it seems like, because of its nature, it doesn't have that much going on in the interior of the piece, that we can save this for later and put it in later. Now what about this middle red piece here? There's going to be a hole here, so it may not be possible to fit it in. And sure enough, we need to go back a step and figure out how to put this red piece in. The red one needs to go in first. Once the red piece is in, we can slide in that piece that was there before and push it to the back. And now all of these are interlocked. They all stay together. I know that the first piece we took off was this, and the interlocking move was something where it was placed down and then pushed. So that looks like it could fit right in the center there, though it may want to go the other way. Putting on another piece, And we notice that there's this piece left over. We're going to need to find a way to fit this in first. So let's take these off, fit that in. And now let's see if we can fit these three all at the same time, much like the first move in the puzzle. This last move is a little bit of a tricky dexterity challenge. This last move is a little bit of a tricky But if you have it all lined up, it fits together perfectly, and then this locks in place. And there you have it. As far as assembly disassembly puzzles go, this is a very good example of one. It's not too tricky to assemble, because you know where the different pieces are relative to each other by the color of the wood, and it still involves some nice moves, including a dexterity move at the end. If you are interested in more puzzle content, please subscribe or follow me on Twitter, at Puzzles. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And as always, happy puzzling.